I scared you? Only when you took off your mask. Oh. Look, can I leave these with you? I can't get back to the library. I gotta cover the Van Dorn wedding. Wow, have you seen that, babe? She looks like Frankenstein's bride in the Lon Chaney version. And I can't get back to the library in time. You, you... What is this? History of witchcraft in New England, Druids, the Forgotten Sect, and letters to a vampire written in blood? What else is a vampire supposed to use? <sighs> Cozy bedtime reading. What do you got, garlic hanging from your bedroom window and a wreath of dead roses on your front door? No, only on Halloween, but that's not a bad idea, Holly. Your neighbors must love you, Freakman. Yeah, they do. Weird old freaky, that's what they call me. I see them talking, the housewife mafia, standing behind their white picket fences with their white linen on the lines and, and the white necks ripe for biting. Stop, Freak, I've had enough of the supernatural for one night. Hey, Holly, you've been having those nightmares again, haven't you? What nightmares? You know the one about that creature. Oh, those nightmares. Only when I'm tired. And don't tell Coop. You think he'd listen to me? Because frankly... Or he'll worry about me, and that's all I need. But Holly, I... <sighs> Please, Freak, I, I'm trying to make this deadline, and I'm already late okay. on a piece for Sibelius that the old man gave me. The old man's got a special treat for us tonight. Adam Lust and the Vampires. You're covering their record launches. Private performance, invitation only. I'm taking the pictures. Neat, huh? He can't do this to me. I have a sick cat. I have a candlelit dinner with, with lasagna waiting for me. And my decibel level doesn't go beyond Beethoven's fifth. This place, it's called Night Creatures, and uh, I think I'll fit right in there. Mm, mm. Great. Bye. I won't. <laughs> Where are you? First time in San Francisco for Adam Lust? Hardly. How much longer now? About 20 minutes. I got clearance to land on the roof. Beat sitting in traffic listening to the Rush Hour Symphony. This light bothers my eyes. <laughs> Why don't you try closing them? Then I would be alone with my thoughts. The ashes of centuries turning over and over in the twilight between the two worlds. What world would those be? The dark and the light. The waking and the dead. Oh, those worlds. You know, I must get out more. No, you must just open your eyes to the unexpected, the truth beyond what your vision tells you is there. The truth is distilled from what you believe in. The way you look at people in your own world. Huh. I like to kind of look at the good, you know? It gives me this warm, really feeling inside. But then that's me. Oh, yeah, regular guy, right? Shoots pool, drinks beer, follows the Dodgers. Yeah, well, don't forget about the pretty blonde fiance and the sheep dog that catches the Frisbees. <laughs> oh, I won't forget about her. <laughs> when you look at me, what do you see? <laughs> I don't think you want to know. Perhaps I already do know. Then there's no need to ask. Are you coming to our concert tonight, Coop? My friends call me Coop. What do your enemies call you? Sir. <laughs> I like your sense of humor. Yeah, well, I like your music. Why don't we just leave it at that? You still haven't answered my question. Look, I'm going to pass on tonight. I got a date with that pretty little blonde I was telling you about. Oh, you'll be there. Both of you. <laughs> you have to cover what? Adam Lust and the Vampires are launching their new album at the Night Creatures. That's a new club that opened out of town and... And who said you'd be there tonight? Who? Uh, Adam Lust. What's his real name? Brighton Lacrosse. You know him? Well, I picked him up at the airport this afternoon and dropped him at the club. I mean, there's something about him. Sure, that's his bag. It makes your skin crawl, doesn't it? I mean, he comes out of a coffin on stage. At the end of the act, his bass guitar is plunges a wooden stake right through his heart. It's hot. You have to go. Yes. Does he have to go? Yes. Here. Coop, this is tremendous. Oh, yeah. Come on. Bartender. 
I know this place. Oh, the truth comes out, a closet groupie. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's like I've been here before. There's something here, something evil. Yeah? Yeah, it's yeah. probably the wine they're serving. Hey, always recognize a member of the press. Max Cantilever, manager here at Night Creatures. I'm Holly Sinclair, the Post. Uh -huh. I'm here to interview Martin Lacrosse, Adam Lust. Oh, yeah, well, that's the plan, but uh, you're going to have to wait a little while. I haven't even seen him oh. myself. He's downstairs in the dressing room getting ready. Well, right. I uh, hear he's pretty bizarre, huh? <laughs> even scary. <laughs> you don't believe all that hype about him sleeping in coffins all day, do you? Uh. Right now, he's down in the dressing room looking for his eyebrow pencil and drinking coffee to calm his stage fright. <laughs> shouldn't have asked. Mr. Lacrosse? Hello? Sorry if I frightened you. You didn't frighten me. Good. Because the fear is there. It's in your eyes. Buried so deep, so long ago. But then I can see down into your soul and uh, feel your torment. That's a great line of dialogue. <laughs> but I'm afraid I would hate to see it go to waste on a reporter. I'm Polly Sinclair, The Post. I've been expecting you. I'm going to give you an exclusive. What being Adam Lust is really like. Well, I'm honored. What makes me so special? Don't you know? You have an old soul. One that has lived many times and survived many tortures. That's also in your eyes. Maybe we could have an interview after your show. Good. That will give us time to get to know one another. I like to mingle with the crowd. Feel the warmth, the smell of their bodies. Musk rising from the ground. The mist in the trees. I've seen the mist. I know. You are very beautiful. Let go. Oh, you don't really want to. Please, stop. Oh, this is lovely. In here, is he your, uh, your fella? Oh, great looking guy. The best. I'll see you later. <sighs> Oh no, our time is now, Holly. <laughs> huh? Cross, you there? You're on stage with your coffin in one minute. Now let's go. I'll be back. I want to talk to you about Holly. My favorite subject. No, I know. I mean, she was a sister. She's like a sister to me, this subject. Look, she's starting to have those nightmares again. Now, you're not the one that's putting those images in her head, you know, putting garlic around her desk and making her carry a cross, are you? No way, Coop. I keep my battle with the dark forces strictly personal. 
She's touched by it, though. Well, touched by what? I don't know. Every once in a while, I see it shining on the periphery, something, something evil. It is you that's scaring her. No, no. It's very real to her. It's this creature that she sees in her dream. Well, who is it? I don't think we want to know. Get away from her. Ah, uh, the righteous lover returns. She's your girl, Coop. Come and get her. Don't you know what I am? You can't make me believe that. Uh. Give me a break! I denounce you for the creature of the night that you are. Oh, that's good. But what are you gonna do now, hmm? You have to believe, my friend. Really believe. I do. I'm Jerome Freakman III, and this is holy water. <laughs> Where'd you get that, hmm? The bartender? Ha ha. Ha! Oh, oh, tough luck. There's one believer in every crowd. Keep back. Okay, Coop? Holly. Get Holly. Holly! Holly! Take it easy, Coop. Easy. It's powerful, Coop. Coop, it's powerful. It's very powerful. Now take this. I got a ton of them. You have to believe, Coop. You have to believe or Holly will be lost. But she's gonna die if I don't get to her. It's okay. He's back on stage. He can't hurt her now. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna destroy the vampire. How? The old-fashioned way. A wooden stake right through the creature's heart. But you got a stake handy. So happens I do. But it's gonna take a lot of strength. Mm. And it's gotta happen when the vampire least expects it. Or when he most expects it.
be under his influence much longer. It's okay. <laughs> caused quite a sensation in here last night. Lucky for you, it's all in fun, or the police would be talking to you right now. I understand Lacrosse has disappeared again. You weren't here last night, were you, Mr. Cantilever? No, I wasn't. I had an illness in my family. Now, if you'll excuse me. Someone was here. Something. Coop, I just got off the phone with PASS. That's the Paranormal and Supernatural Society. They're a bunch of crackpots to the rest of the world, but they believe and they hear things. What kind of things? They've had a sighting of a horseman dressed as a preacher with, with a girl up in Sacramento. I swear it's Holly. You tell them to meet us there. We're going to run down every case of psychic phenomenon we can. Every haunted house. We're going to meet every vampire, poltergeist, and horror show charlatan. No matter what kind of night creature took her, we're going to find her freak. Together? <laughs> Partners. Get you, Holly. I'm coming to get you too. You better believe that. 